Hi guys, welcome to part 9 of my 2023 Christmas Village full tutorial series. I dismantled a big portion of my Viking fishing village towards that side. I will show you in just a few moments why. It's not a secret, it's obvious, the Viking fishing village is taking much more than 50% of the final layout and it needs to get alive and the only way to get it alive is to add as much figurines as I can, as much props as I can, as much micro scenes as I can and the only way to do that is to multiply the platform and to get a little more space. I um, I be used a little more space toward the back there and you can see probably that the octagonal yellow building is now more elevated towards the sky in some sort of having uh, almost the same height as a background here in the corner and the space on the platform is bigger than last time but I hadn't the platform printed so in order to experiment the main side here i had to um, steal the platform from somewhere and i stole them from here guys hi guys you can see that i don't have any more platforms here here i had many more platforms here too and also there. I needed to experiment and right now my 3D printers, my FDM 3D printers are printing like hell at maximum speed all the other platform that I will need. I still miss around 36 platforms, uh, squared ones and straight ones uh, as that, that one. But why I did that? I did that simply because I am at the point where I needed to consolidate some of the longest task. And the Viking fishing village is on top of water. But where is the water? There isn't any water right now. I need to add water by the end of the summer because I will use my obvious crystal clear sorry, silicon coke that is very toxic so I will need to let all the windows open and I needed to avoid to get that job done in November when I will freeze but this big amount of uh, white surface that is representing ocean right now is enormous and the crystal clear silicon coke I'm using is so much expensive especially because it is so clear so crystal clear <laughs> if I use only silicon coke right now I will spend around 400 to 500 euros let's say it's equivalent in USD, 400 to 500 USD in silicon coke. No, I don't have that intention. I've always used a small amounts, a small parts, small section dedicated to water. So the, ex the expense was not that much. But right now, I don't want to spend all that money. And I don't want to simply paint uh, the water and let it like that. No, I'm not used to do that. But I also had intention to show you a new technique to add water, to simulate water with less expensive material. Glycerin. It's less expensive and glycerin you can find uh, it uh, you can find it anywhere, especially in places where uh, you buy um, materials for doing your proper soaps. Glycerin is used to make soaps 
uh, you are buying them in powder or in granules or in soap, especially big soap of glycerin, and uh, you melt them and then you um, pour them into a mold and add some flour, some perfume, and etc. But that's that is how you do soap. But with the same technique, you can simulate a good amount of water. Then I will always add on top of that water my uh, silicone coke, but uh, in a little small amount. This is a calm bay. This is not a vigorous, this is not a furious, furious, sorry, furious, sorry, again. Uh, ocean. It's uh, a fjord, it's uh, a bay, it's a calm bay, a fishing calm bay. So uh, in winter, yes, northern sea, yes, with some um, moving water, with some white waters, but not that much. And I will use a glycerin. I will start to show you this technique with this part 9. I will surely not complete everything because it is gigantic. So I will need to uh, make space for the platforms. I will dismantle this part uh, because I will start from the right side, then dig some uh, grooves for the wires, for the buildings and for the lamps and etc. Then I will paint, then uh, using um, standard colors, not mixed colors in this way, I can do it step by step and I will not, not I will uh, have no problems mixing the colors. I will use some brown, green and um, blue. Uh, and then, and then something more. I will certainly complete the stairs there. I will paint them with some crazy colors because Baroque's uh, buildings were also cr were also very crazy in colors. Maybe uh, I will show you right now a picture of uh, some Baroque buildings. <music> So you have seen that these uh, is uh, crazy times where uh, buildings also add uh, strange crazy colors, pastel colors, very fade colors, and I will use them to complete my stairs with a big door and also a lantern inside the main uh, arc there. Let's do some work. Good guys, with my face a little too closer to this camera this time because I want to show you in more details the layout. Let me explain something I forgot to tell you during my intro. Crystal clear silicon coke. It is uh, acetic based, so fumes are so intoxicated, intoxicating, sorry, and this is glycerin, a big soap of glycerin that I will cut. Technique. I will use the glycerin as a base for the ocean. But because there is always a but, the glycerin, once melted, is very liquid, guys. Very, very liquid. In difference with the coke that is almost a, a solid, it is more dense. Styrofoam there, it is uh, expanded styrofoam. It is made of bubbles of styrofoam and it is porous. If you emerge, submerge some styrofoam into the water with a weight, and then after half an hour, you will remove the styrofoam from the water. It is soaked with water. It, the water gets inside the styrofoam. Then it needs to dry for some days because it is porous. If I use some melted glycerin as a base, it will uh, disappear inside the styrofoam. Multiple solution here. 
use some paper, some, uh, let me take it, some craft paper, like in this case, guys, some craft paper and place it all along the surface of, the, of the styrofoam because this is not porous, this is a water resistance for water resistant in some ways. So I will, I can, I will not, but I can use some paper to put on top of the styrofoam, then a paint and do everything else. Or I can use some uh, PVC white glue, like this one, that will make the styrofoam water resistant. Not waterproof, but water resistant. And with uh, um, a brush, applying some of these PVC white glue on top of the styrofoam. And most probably I will use this technique here. Or you can use some resin. Let me explain. I know that some people use also a mix of resin, like in this case, two components, resin, crystal clear, and then mix together and then pour and wait hours, days, weeks before it cures. And it has an exothermic reaction, so it expands its cure while emitting some uh, heat, so it can melt the styrofoam. I will not use that uh, resin, but the same resin used for my figurines and for this Viking boat is a UV resin, is a resin that cures with UV lamp, with a UV uh, light source, okay? 3D printers that use resin, SLA printers use a, a source of UV light to cure the resin. And I can use also this method here, simply pouring some of the resin into, a, into some container, then use a brush, then brush on top of the surface, a little, very, very uh, tiny um, layer, uh, very, very small, very quickly done layer of uh, resin, and then use an UV lamp to cure it. It makes the uh, styrofoam no more white, but gray, but who cares? I can always uh, paint it anyway. I will have to paint some water, some uh, um, ocean uh, uh, base, uh, the seabed, etc. Before applying the glycerin and the cork. Mm, if I use the a glue, the PVC glue, I will have to wait an hour before painting and doing etc. 30, 40 seconds for the, for the resin. Up to you, I will experiment both of them. This is less expensive with PVC glue, this is a little more expensive. Not that much, believe me, because a, a very uh, thin layer of uh, um, of resin is not that expensive. I will spend, at, I think, uh, five euros to get all the surface of the water cured with, uh, with some resin, waterproof, uh, water resistant, not waterproof. Then I can pour the glycerin. That is enough. Let's get to work. It was by time we hit the finish line Eight points later 
I wasn't winning at all, I was just further behind. You played your hand, the show's my cards. I took my talks right from your heart. I laid them down before your eyes came over, blow the whistle, we're out of time. Come on, baby, it's your turn of time. It was by time we hit the finish line. Eight points later, I wasn't winning at all. I was just further behind. You played your hand, the show's my cards. I took my talks right from your heart. I laid them down before your eyes. Game over, blow the whistle, we're out of time. You're just using me for fun to take the win, and then we're done. I'm in a little more, don't wanna play no more. Come on, boy, tag me up. Eight points later. Eight points later. Eight points later.
Final recap of part 9. Guess what? I'm starting from that stair. Pink and blue. Yes, you are seeing it correctly. Enough of whitish, grayish, blackish, boring stairs. This is a baroque stair, an important design, but it is getting up to a fairy wheel, to something funny. So why not a funny stair? Ate me how much you want, for how long you want, but this is my view of a baroque stair, of a fun baroque stairs. I have a village full of colors, even my stairs is full of color. And I don't know if you see there, but under the arc, uh, there, the lead, the LED is doing his job. Maybe I'm gonna approach a little more the stairs, guys. Uh, nothing changed there, but here in the village, some big changes as you have just seen. Uh, missing the platforms and then the stairs from another angle and a little closer, guys. Let me see if you can see something. No, you can't see inside. Maybe this way. Yes, this way you can see. Uh, maybe let's switch off some lights. As always, let's check if the LED is doing its job under the stairs there it's connected right now to a battery so it's not doing a very 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 bright light but uh, I assure you it's doing its job It's a foggy LED, so not a pure bright colors, but it is what it is, guys. And from another, sorry, I will go slower from another point of view, the steps blue, and then getting there, some problems with the paintings I will correct, like in this case, I have some blue getting into the pink, but, uh, it is three hours of painting guys three hours of painting and from the other side too maybe let's have it connected a little more there to the fairy wheel fairy wheel it's not a fairy wheel but almost there okay guys so this is a fairy stairs getting to a fairy wheel i'm dumb guys i know the big change guys there in part eight i just add one and two platforms and those two ships the golden eagle and this other uh, brick there by the way i haven't named it right now and now i have one two big square two and two four six so much more space to get everything i wanted to get life in the village and in the docks too obviously here some uh, docks scenes but here something different that i have planned and obviously now the platforms are stick it to the uh, to the styrofoam if i pull i will destroy everything but they are uh, usable once again and for maybe a future village if i want when i will dismantle everything the result sorry the result of the glycerin and then a very few spots where I add some um, coke, some 
crystal clear silicone coke here there and then in plain middle here of the bay there but everything else everything else is done with some glycerin even the uh, waves the white waters there and they are solid guys it is solid uh, a little oily guys but it simulates water this needs still needs to to cure the si the silicon there and the result uh, here with some water in even inside the boat some white water there and the boat is removable obviously and i painted that like that a very damaged sail some um, fishnet and then the bows in inside etc and it fits correctly there guys uh, i also added some little stones as, uh, as the seabed here and there okay and it is covered then i added some blue i painted some blue etc but this is the effect uh, like the waves are getting whoosh 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 towards the island there and some stones are visible so some others are more deep into the water the eight is almost one centimeter guys there one centimeter and what i used in order to avoid the spilling of the uh, of the glycerin i've used some transparent uh, uh, little uh, pvc those are sorry guys nothing other than some front cover like this one okay used uh, in making some uh, report etc and i've cut uh, the uh, two centimeters uh, uh, wide uh, pieces and then i i've uh, bent them in the middle and i've used them like that uh, l-shaped like that uh, with the l inside and that's why I, I've cut it with a blade the part that was still on top of the uh, glycerin almost one centimeter of uh, uh, glycerin then I will continue from this side with the same thing but this time I will use the support in this way it was not a mess not really a big mess and the um, the new version of the uh, lamp post uh, is working correctly I still need to hide some of the wires somewhere under there but I will hide them in some way I will add, hide them okay and this too is making his job but we have already seen I've used uh, less orange LED inside this is uh, a cold LED uh, cold light uh, more white light not as yellow as the prototype I've shown you and uh, okay the, also here the wire here is working guys also this wire here for the uh, blue octagonal a building there and here some supports for having uh, maybe a figurine or two there uh, I don't know maybe it's not worth using glycerin but I think I got almost the same result maybe better in some way than just with uh, some silicone coke uh, a new technique guys I've shown you a new technique uh, just be advised that if you don't use some uh, L-shaped pieces of uh, cardboard or like I use some PVC, you risk to, to do a mess on the floor because even if you drop the uh, liquid glycerin, the hot liquid glycerin there, then it tends to flow away and without something stopping it, uh, mm, it's like having a floor messed with glycerin i tried also to make uh, some little waves here and there 
here I use uh, these my fingers to do the, the waves like that and uh, glycerin is more suited to make uh, uh, waves than uh, silicone okay then silicone cork here some calm water so no waves uh, this is all guys uh, I will continue uh, with the yellow building and then going towards the main village with the same technique but first I need to get all the platforms that are missing right now here I add some more platforms here I add at least five platforms and then I dismantle once again the main village there but uh, I will have so much more space to get uh, people, to get figurines into action here, here, a big, astonishing um, micro scene there, I repeat, never seen before, oh, by the way, I used some pins there to just remember where uh, all the platform were before, in order not to uh, mess with everything like that so this pin here corresponded to this point here and this other pin there to this one getting almost there and then continuing with the layout i want in this way okay the head will still be there but using the same technique i use it there with some waves and etc um, i think i will get something interesting once again, the stairs, guys, I love with this 2023 Christmas village uh, doing colorful buildings, doing colorful stairs, plenty of colors. It's Christmas in a Viking fishing village with some landmarks buildings that are also full of colors, are colorful. Color, 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 color. See you for the outro. A fairy stairs for a fairy wheel. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I was admiring my chef d'oeuvre. <laughs> no, guys, it's not a chef d'oeuvre. But enough with gray color, with gray stairs. Green, yellow, red, lila, pink, uh, blue, uh, red, and then also pink and blue for a stairs. Aid me. Once again, guys, continue. Let's continue with this eight <laughs> towards this guy here. And from the other camera guy, you can see what I mean for I was lacking the ocean, guys. I was lacking the ocean. This is how I want everything to be from this section here up. To the main village. New technique, you have seen me using some glycerin and just a little, maybe not, a, maybe not even a quarter of a tank of uh, silicone coke. So less expensive, the same results. Uh, it will not uh, damage uh, the buildings or the platforms because I simply needed to use, for example, an air dryer and I will melt a little bit the uh, glycerin and everything will uh, go in the storeroom, guys, in the storage. New uh, post lamp is working, guys. Uh, what can I say? What else? Uh, from this point of view, it is a desolation right there, guys, because I need so much platform. I will spend all the week printing what I'm missing, and I have plenty of them. I also miss some stairs, some of those little stairs there, and I will print. That's the reason why I painted that in this room and not in the other, because in the other room, my FDM printers are full speed, are at full speed printing uh, four uh, platforms at, at, at once. That's the result of once again a new revolution guys, but I couldn't afford 
the guilty of not having used all the space I had at my disposal. This means having to model and 3D print and then paint a lot more figurines that I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know what to, to, um, to use what poses, what uh, scenes, what micro scenes to organize right now. Only for the spot there, the big spot I have in mind. But I know that I will have to think about uh, new poses uh, because I need uh, so much sitting figurines. And then also common life figurines. I've never seen, maybe I'm wrong, but, for example, a pregnant woman in Lemax collections, maybe in, not in Caddington collection, but maybe in uh, Vale Village, there are some, but in Caddington Village, I can't remember to have seen a pregnant woman, for example. And this is current life. Imagine, no, let's, let's forget everything else. This needs to go there guys sorry please don't forget to subscribe comment and give big thumbs up thank you for watching thank you for bearing guess what my awful english that you have buried for three years almost for three years and see you for part 10 if you want bye guys